here, Rabbeinu Hirsch says that there is something I call, I came up with a name for it. He came up with the actual Hidush, I just came up with names. It's the curse of the exile. Not being in the land of Israel is already a punishment of its own. says that when you sin, the land eventually vomits you. It says in the Torah. So not being in Eretz Yisrael, even though there's a benefit to it, in the sense that Hashem sent Am Yisrael to the four corners of the world, for a few reasons. One, to help Am Yisrael do tshuva, and two, is also convert. Convert people. Convert people to Judaism. Part of our mission. Even though, for whatever reason or another, Many Jews don't believe in encouraging other people to convert. If you read what the sages say about conversion, you would think they were talking about missionaries from Christianity. But in reality, the sages talk about conversion, do whatever you can to convert people. And anyone that gets in the way of conversion is Ahu, gets the worst curse in, in the Torah. Where do we learn from this? Elisha, the story of Elisha and Gehazi. Gehazi, a servant, got in the way of conversion. The Gemara says in Sanhedrin, he has no share of the world to come. A Goy wanted to convert, a Goy king wanted to convert to Judaism because he saw the miracle that Elisha, the prophet, made. Healed him. Healed him from Tzarat. He saw, wow, look at this. This is from, how'd you do this? Magic was no magic. It's Hashem. It's God. One and only God. Wow, that's what God helps you do. I want to be like you. I want to be a Jew. There's no problem. Convert you. How much do I owe you? There's no money. I did this for God, not for you. For God I did it. Healing you, I did it for God. Honor of God. He was even more impressed. He didn't want any money. Gehazi Rasha said, what is my boss? has a chance to collect half the, half the pot over here. This is the king. This is, the big, this is what we've been waiting for. The big pot. He doesn't want a penny. Nothing. He couldn't take it. He goes back to the king, goes, no, no, you know, my, uh, my boss, he's very, very humble. He's not going to ask you for money, but I think he needs five, six suits, maybe a little car, maybe this, small things. No, for you, king, you have a lot, small things. The king says, no problem, I'll give him whatever he wants. Whatever you say he wants, I'll give him to him, no problem. But the Torah says, that moment, the king says, I don't want to convert anymore. Why he doesn't want to convert? He goes, maybe it was business, maybe. He looks like a tzaddik, but maybe it was a little bit of business. Maybe Judaism is all about business. When Elisha found out what Gehazi did, he cursed him. And he died an unusual death. He was cursed his whole life. And the Gemara says he has no share of the world to come. Why no share of the world to come? Why ain't collecting? There's a bunch of people, a bunch of different people with, with beards collecting tzedakah every day. What's the problem? He says, no, because it's collecting. Stop somebody from converting. We want more tzedikim in Am Yisrael. You got in the way. You have no share of the world to come, Shemechem. So here we have one of the missions of Am Yisrael is to convert people, people that are righteous, want to get closer to Hashem, do whatever you can to help them. Sure, they have to convert for the right reason, but if you find somebody that wants to convert for the right reason, you do whatever you can to help them. You don't get in their way. 